Yeah. And it, it really just kind of feels like the, the focus of era here is to provide this kind of almost traditional capital efficiency and uh, for, for these DAOs, these decentralized autonomous organizations. And uh, like, do you really think it's possible that in this like pseudonymous transparent world that you and I work in, that we can actually have that traditional capital efficiency with active market, with, like with an active market where participants are, I guess they're in, I think you said like they're incentivized to create the most capital efficient strategies. I mean, I, I, yeah, I, okay. That, 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 that makes sense to me. So, you know, let's try to like maybe dissect it in the following way. So what is really capital efficiency? Capital efficiency is like, what is the maximum amount of risk bearing assets denominated in a numerator, say dollars, divided by the minimum amount of supply I need in the protocol of assets to, to, to service that uh, risky uh, thing, right? That's sort of, your, you can think of that as your capital efficiency ratio. Now, in crypto, because it's permissionless, the denominator, the minimum amount of capital you need is, is higher because you really can't you can't like grade every user uh, immediately. Like like people are trying to do things like that, but I I think until we are in a li- until we've really spent a lot of time on the the sort of like zero knowledge proof version of of lending protocols, I think it's going to be quite hard. Um, but the denominator is just always bigger. So the the only way to sort of increase the numerator is to effectively allow every dollar of risk-bearing asset to be covered by sort of some portfolio that's that's di- like, like one 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 important part is that there's sort of the the denominator of like the amount of capital you need the how volatile that denominator is is right now basically how volatile is your governance token because 90 percent of these treasuries are mainly their governance token right but if you reduce the volatility of that you actually can start increasing the numerator, right? You, you you actually you actually know that the numerator is correlated to the denominator. Like the amount of assets going out that are taking risk is correlated to the amounts of assets that are in holding, that are held, that are meant to back that. And part of those assets are the 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 lenders' assets, like the the users who are supplying. But the key thing, and this is extremely important to avoid something like an FTX where the funds got commingled. Is that you 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 want to make sure that the DAO's assets that are supplied are, are being optimized because that actually does shrink the denominator and, and and sort of the volatility in the denominator, so that you can have much more confidence in increasing the numerator. You can't just kind of if you commingle funds like like we'll have an FTX, you, you suddenly made the the denominator look really big, and so you you're like okay, I can keep making the numerator really high, but you didn't you didn't really. Solve the problem because, like the denominator, if if its volatility goes up, then you're you're blown out of the water on the the portion committed by the the protocol or exchange in this case. And so, so if we think about just do, you know another way of thinking about this is the numerator is the risk assets taken by the borrowers, by the people trading perpetuals, by people making options, whatever. The denominator, however, can be split up into two components. One component is the asset supplied by lenders trying to earn yield. And the other component is protocol-owned liquidity, protocol-provided liquidity, right? And the key is like making sure that you can minimize how much protocol-provided liquidity you need while being able to service the same amount of risk. And that's, you know, in a bull market, you can get away with just making your governance token the protocol-owned liquidity. But in a, in a more optimized market, you, need, you do need to actually improve that.